we have here on the right hand side our NCE USB board and we have over here on this right input this is the USB cord uh, coming from our uh, PC which is where we uh, run the JMRI uh, software uh, for Decoder Pro so we can do all of our programming and then this USB interface board then makes a uh, connection over here to the UTP and then on the back side of the UTP there's a cable right here you can see it running down and back and that cable then runs to the back side right up in here and goes around into the back side of the uh, NCE power cab and then that power cab is then what provides power up to the track up here so we have a very convenient method of interfacing our PC running JMRI for programming with our DCC system That's right here. Means of connecting JMRI Decoder Pro or any other type of PC running software for your railroad, it's very easy on the two other NCE command stations. So over here, the SB5, all you have to do is run from that UTP panel or even the NCE USB directly into the cab bus by plugging in like that and now if you follow kind of the logical chain right here that cable is plugged into this panel which also can double as a UTP and that panel is daisy chained to this guy over here and then that makes the interface with the USB. For the PH Pro system, it is a little bit different as far as the interface. That NCE USB board that we just looked at, that is only going to be used for the power cab and the SB5 Smart Booster. If you're running the PH Pro, the means of interfacing between your PC is going to be this nine pin serial input right here. So you're not going to go USB cord and USB into this guy. You're going to be running USB to RS-232, otherwise known as the nine pin serial. Again, a little bit of a legacy left over from the old days, but just as effective for running a software such as JMRI's Decoder Pro.